Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we are going to be talking about how to update the firmware on a Lyric control panel. Uh, there are a few ways to do this. I'm going to be mentioning a couple different ways. The first thing I should mention, however, is that the Lyric must be registered to AlarmNet 360. This can only be done by Alarm Dealers, so you must contact Alarm Dealer uh, about nine times out of ten probably about 100% of the time, that's going to require you signing up for some type of service, be a contract or no contract. Uh, we at Alarm Grid do no contract monitoring, uh, but that's besides the point. So when you contact your dealer, they will register your panel with AlarmNet. Once the panel is fully registered, you're basically connected to Honeywell servers. So that's where the update comes from. We get a lot of people calling us asking if they can get the updates without connecting to AlarmNet. Uh, the answer to that is just no. Unfortunately, there's not a way at this moment to get the updates to the panel without it being fully registered. Uh, essentially, updates are coming from Honeywell, so you must be connected to their servers. Once you are connected to Honeywell servers, you can either update the firmware locally from the panel, or you can contact your alarm dealer and they can push down an update for you. I'm going to be showing you how to do it locally, and I'm also going to be explaining how we, as alarm companies, send it down. So, the first thing you want to do is actually check your firmware. This is pretty simple. Uh, all you have to do is go into security. You're going to go into the tools option. Uh, we're going to enter our master code. So ours is still the default one, two, three, and four. You're going to go into advanced and then you're going into system information. The top line that says revision, that is your current firmware. Currently this panel is not on the latest firmware. It is on 01.03. The latest is 01.04. So now that we know that we are not fully updated, I want my Lyric updated. I'm going to either do it myself or contact my company. Let's try it ourselves first. So we'll go back to the home screen. Uh, this time we're gonna jump back into tools, but we are going to be using our installer code. Ours is still the default, 4112. And then you'll see right here, there's an update firmware button. Once you press that button, it's gonna initiate a download job. So basically the update is going from the server to your panel. Once it hits the panel, if it's a non-critical update, it's gonna prompt you asking you to do the update. You're going to see three options, yes, no, and postpone. And this will only show up when the system is disarmed and in a ready to arm state. That means there's no faults, no errors, anything like that. So when you see the pop-up, it will say yes, no, or postpone for the update. You'll see the firmware version and it will say regular build. That's how you know it's non-critical. If you press yes, the update goes through right away. Uh, if you press no, it cancels the job entirely. And then you'll have to reschedule it from either the panel or your dealer. And then if you do postpone, it will delay it for about six hours. Uh, you can do this up to four times or within 24 hours. After that, it does cancel the job and you'll have to reschedule it again, either through the panel or by contacting your alarm dealer. Uh, if you did press yes on it, the update, if you're on Wi-Fi only, takes about five to 10 minutes. If you are on cell only, it takes about an hour to fully process. If you're on dual path, that's still counting as Wi-Fi, so it goes back to the five to 10 minutes basically five to 10 minutes to fully download and process the update. Once the update is in there, the panel reboots. Now, if it is a critical job, meaning as a big firmware update that you don't have to approve, it goes to the panel. Once it hits it and it's ready, it just automatically reboots the panel. Uh, usually after a call to a dealer, if you see your panel reboot within about, about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, uh, that's just the update going through. It's hit the panel, it's going through there. Uh, now, there are Another way uh, you can, well, there is another way that you can do an update from the panel. However, it does still require assistance from your dealer. Uh, we can technically download the firmware onto a USB, and there is a USB slot on the underside of the Lyric where you can insert it and do the firmware update. For this one, I would suggest contacting your alarm dealer to see specifically how they do this. Uh, it can differ from company to company. Uh, most of the time, we see people, we see people just do the, uh, the OTA or the over-the-air download from the servers. Uh, if you did have any questions about the firmware updates, what they entitle, uh, the Lyric itself, or alarm monitoring, if you do, did want to update your panel, check out our website, www.alarmgrid.com. And if you have any further questions, please give us a call as well, uh, or email us. Our email is support at alarmgrid.com. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we release more videos like this. Thank you very much, and have a good day.